Hi, I'm Jen Spencer, and this is Jen Spencer's 10-Minute Book Club. Hi, readers. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Tonight, we have a really fun author, Marie Higgins. You're going to love hearing about her and her 100 books. If you ask a question or leave a comment in the comment section below, you will automatically be entered to win a Wallflower to Love, which is her first book. And we're going to be talking about the second book in the series called A Governess to Protect. If you also please go to jenspencerbooks.com and sign up for my newsletter because you will be able to download a free copy of Dandelion Meadows Christmas Kisses. It's very romantic, contemporary, small town, and you are going to love it. So I hope you check that out. Now, I'm really excited to introduce Marie Higgins. Marie, thank you so much for being here tonight. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. I talked to Marie's sister, Stacy, um, a few weeks ago, and we had a delightful conversation. And so I'm just so excited to meet you and hear the other half of the the writing team. But I also know you write a lot of books by yourself. So <laughs> tell us about your books. There's not enough time. Oh. <laughs> okay, so okay, I write historical, contemporary, time travel. I've written some paranormal. All of my books have, um, of course, romance. Um, they have action, adventure, suspense, mystery, and lots of fun twists. Oh, fun. Oh, and you've written a lot of books. Um, I've published and I've kind of lost count because I've taken books down and revised them, put them back, you know, things like that. But I've published, I think it was in December that I finally could say I reached 100 books. I oh, wow. Them. That is amazing. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> so when did like your first book come out? Oh, 2010. And I think it was May, May of 2010. Wow. Uh, my first book was with a a little publishing company, which I won't say because I don't want to. And <laughs> I wasn't very happy with them, but that's okay. Yeah, it was in the past. But yeah, my first book came out with them. And then um, I want to say it was three, two or three years later. Um, I've had I had friends doing the indie publish thing, you know, publishing thing. And so I am like, okay, let's let's jump on board and see what happens. And oh my goodness, I love the ride. Oh, well, so tell us about this book that we're talking about tonight. And also I'm interested in hearing, because you have a lot of different books, like tell us about two or three of your uh, series that you've written. Only two or three, huh? Okay, so <laughs> so this, so, okay, let, let me quick quickly talk about my newest release is called A Governess to Protect, and it's book number two. Um, I am now with a publisher called Dragon Blade Publishing. Okay. And I love them so far, so much. So this is so this is the paperback of the first cover or the first book. And I'm already just in love with the way they do their covers. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, book number two, the couple are on like a ship because the ship is, has a lot to do with the story. And I just I, I just love these covers. So, so far with this publisher, I am no complaints at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but, so the second one is um, my, my news release, release is called A Governess to Protect. Mm -hmm. And um, she is of course a governess and her employer was murdered. So at the very beginning of the story, She's, you know, in with the the woman, the lady, you know, it was her, the Lord, you know, Lord is Regency, by the way. <laughs> oh, actually, this series is Victorian, but in that era in England. And so the lady of the house, it was her husband that died. And um, she was tired of the police not doing anything. The Metropolitan Police were taking their time. The detectives were taking their time. So the lady sent out two of her best servants and the governess was one of them 
and just another maid was the other one. So she's like, here's who I think, I think killed my husband. It was his, his brother, her um, younger brother who wanted, who wants the title. And of course, back in those days, that was, you know, a, you know, easily done, you know, where the family members coveted the title title. Anyway, so here's the governor, it's not knowing anything about being a detective, and of course the other, the maid that went with her, and um, but they tracked him down, and they thought they found him, and he was, and the brother was a um, opera singer, and which I know is a little different than you know you usually read about, but um, anyway, so. They, they still didn't know they needed proof. And of course he's leading them on this chase. And, but at the same time, he doesn't want them to know his secrets mm -hmm. and she doesn't want him to know that she's a governess. <laughs> so there's kind of some secrets going on. And there's, like it says, adventure. He finally gets to the point. It's like, okay, I need to prove to you that I am innocent. So, so he kind of kidnaps her in a way and he's taking her, and that's where they went on the ship, and he's taking her to prove to him that, or prove to her that he is innocent. And of course, you know, there's a love story, and there's um, stuff that happens on the ship while they're, you know, in, in, there, and, and she gets tossed overboard, and he, <laughs> in the middle of the night, he goes after her. I mean, just a lot of fun, you know, fun mm -hmm. stuff that goes on, and of course, they fall in love and oh no nope, go to part nope here we come back together nope go to part you know <laughs> a lot of twists a lot of twists in this one but oh I love that when I first started or had the idea for this my very first draft was back in the day of when I was a huge Antonio Banderas fan and he has a beautiful voice and so he was my hero when I first started writing this book <laughs> Long <time. laughs> oh love that well that is that sounds like a fabulous plot I love that uh almost kind of an enemies to love yeah. thing. you know she's yeah. you don't know who to trust and mm -hmm. wow that is great sounds yeah, so I, wonderful yeah. make him think what believe what you want him to you know as long as I have control or you know kind of thing so yeah, yeah. But that's one of that's one of the series. Another fun series that I have um, loved doing, and you heard this with my sister when you interviewed my sister, was our Gems of the West. It's really we a, a lot of those books were bestsellers, and we got a number one re new release, you know, on Amazon. And, you know, we have just been getting great reviews, and they have just been fun to write. Well, okay. Let me give you some, uh, just some random questions. Okay. What is your favorite romantic movie? You know, I have so many, but off the top of my head, I want to say Princess Bride. Mm. I love that one. There you go. So charming. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so charming. That is a great one. It's romantic, but also just hilarious. Hilarious and and you got the action and, and adventures and yep, that's Everything. what I like to write. Yeah. That was great. Okay, so what is a book that you like to read over and over again? Or even just one of your favorite books? But back when I used to read a lot, I was into like Kathleen Woodwist and Will Spencer and Judith McNaught. And those were the authors that I would read over and over and over. Oh. But I haven't read for out of for enjoyment for quite a few years. <laughs> well, I, uh, I I think Pride and Prejudice might have been my first romance, but for some reason my mom had uh, The Wolf and the Dove by Kathleen Woodowis oh, yeah. on her bookshelf, mm -hmm. and I read that. Uh, with great interest and also because it had sex and I was really surprised that my mom had that on her bookshelf for, you know <laughs> young teenagers to read but oh my goodness that definitely that sold me on romances yeah. forever <laughs> the very first romance I read was A Rose in Winter 
Oh. And that hooked me because it had a really humdinger of a twist mm. towards the end. And uh, that hooked me and I couldn't get enough of books with twists. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. What about, do you ever watch, binge watch a TV <laughs> show? Yeah. I know you, you said you write mostly, so... <laughs> Okay, let's see. Grey's Anatomy. I'm probably going on the sixth time watching all the, all eighteen you know um, seasons. There are eighteen um, seasons. Yeah. In fact, I think I think is it this month or next month is going to be the nineteenth season is coming out. So you know, I'll have to watch that. But I love. I'm right now. I mean, currently, when I get time, I'm rewatching for I think the fourth time could be the fifth time white collar that's probably my my favorite is it you know I love that. I love that one yeah there should be more like that <laughs> <laughs> there should that is such a good one they're you know solving crimes and they're so clever and it's humor I love oh. the guy oh my goodness yeah. yeah, I haven't watched that one for a while that is such a good one well, okay well here is the last question. You're stuck on a desert island. Would you rather have a lifetime supply of chocolate or toilet paper? Probably toilet paper. Because <laughs> I'm hoping there's other stuff to eat on the island, but there's not going to be other stuff to wipe off on the island. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I'm, I'm a toilet paper gal too, you know, but, um, you know, it tells me a lot about a person, whether they, you know, want toilet paper or chocolate. So. Yeah, that was a hard one because you know, I do like my chocolate. It's not, not way back on it, but I still like my chocolate. <laughs> Me too. That's so true. I like my toilet paper better, especially <laughs> after COVID. It's like, I know. Oh, yeah. I don't want to run out of toilet paper ever again. Well, Marie, it has been such a pleasure. Readers, go and check out all of her books. They all sound amazing, and I am so glad that you chose to spend your evening here with us. Of course. Oh, our baby dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>